I would take them where I said I was going to take them. I took them to get processed. Staying here from Rocky Creek, hope everybody's been doing good. So real quick today, we're gonna go take care of a few things and I'm gonna update you on how well the livestock trailer worked out because we actually put it to the test yesterday. And I also have my little helper here, ready to get some work on. So let's go. Morning, ladies. Everybody good? Let's go check on the babies. How the babies doing? That one's fast. Doing good. Gonna need a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. It's still pretty early, but let's see if we got any eggs already. Yep. Oh, we got a Q-tip egg. Q-tip egg. Let me see. How do you know it's cute to bake? Because it's small and little and wide. Okay. Here, hand it to me. How many others we got? We'll go ahead and get them while we're here. This one. We'll check again later. And this one. That's Sapphire Gem Egg, I'm pretty sure. And then this one. All right, you hold on to that one. My hand's full. And then we got one more. This one. All right, so we got what? Four, five. We got five eggs. All right. You gonna carry the water? Yeah. All right, get the water. You gonna fill it up for me too? Yeah. You know how to? Yeah. I don't know if you've ever done a water. Chloe, say good morning. You say good morning. You so happy. You so happy. Say good morning. Oh, get it out. So I want to show you guys this one. Well, there's actually two of them like this, and I'm kind of wondering if it's going to work out. So, a true Aracana or Americana will get these long tufts of feathers that come off the side of their face. Easter eggers are really like a mixture of Aracanas and something else, but I've never had one that actually truly had the tufts, so I'm really curious to see how these end up playing out. I'm hoping to get these guys cut loose though here within the next couple weeks. The baby chicks are going to the baby chicks. All right, let's go check on meat birds. Everybody's good? Yeah. No problems? Yeah. All right, so I don't know if you can see it too well or not. Um, so when I moved them, I have to move them really slow right now because they're they're really small and I don't want to get their, their little legs and stuff caught in. Having these tires on the back here gives me a little bit of a gap and move them along, but I still can't pull it but so fast or it could cause injury to them. When they get bigger, it gets easier and they'll get used to it. But you probably can't see it too well right now. Click it. But there's there's a good bit of poop and they've worn down the grass here real good. So the idea will be every two days or so, you know, we'll move them right on along and we'll be able to keep moving them all the way down through this little clearing area and work them back. So I think everything's gonna work out really good. We just gotta give them a little bit more water and stuff. And these guys should be good to go for the day. The chickens had made a friend. I don't even see him there. He was inside the coop with them. You a friend of the chickens, man? Oh, he just climbed back through. He won't stay with him. My dad is putting the fetal and water away in our baby chicks. Good baby bunnies! 
Let's go see them bunnies. Let's go see them bunnies. What about the pig, Daddy? I took them where I said I was going to take them. Where? I took them to get processed. So she just took off. I'm not really sure how that that played out. So uh, yeah, I'll update you on that. We had to we had to work through a little bit though. My little buddy's a little upset, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna get through it, right? Let's go see some baby bunnies. Come on. If baby bunnies don't cheer you up, then I don't know what will. Which one are you gonna hold today? Chocolate, because that's your favorite. Look at that nice. Right. He's just so precious. All right, so I don't know how much of that you got to see. So basically my daughter brought up that we hadn't taken care of the pigs today. And I said, well, if you see that, you know, they're gone. And she's like, what do you mean they're gone? And I said, I did what I told you we were gonna end up doing with them. And she said, what's that? And I said, they, you know, we took them to get processed. And she took off running and she went over to where my wife was and she wasn't crying then. And I asked my wife what she had said. and. She had told me it has to do with something that we've been talking about getting here on the homestead. And so when I saw her, she looked like she was okay. Um, but then I asked her, you know, the kid's a tough kid. Emotionally, she's pretty tough. And, and I said, are you, are you sad or upset? And she, she started crying, um, you know, cause she, she did like those pigs. And I can tell you when I took them yesterday, it was, it's, it's a hard thing to do. However, you know, I did this for a reason. I did this wanting to provide my family with some of the best quality food that I could um, and having a control of my food. Um, and so that, you know, it's just, it's a hard decision that you have to make. Um, I also want her to understand the value of food and, and the life that came along with that food. And I, I hope this will kind of help with that and it'll get easier. I, everybody I've seen said it's hard the first few times and then after that, you kind of get used to it. So that's kind of what I'm hoping happens with this. Um, I hate seeing her that upset. However, at the end of the day, um, I feel like what, what we're doing here is a good thing and it's the right thing to be doing. Um, so I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I don't ever want to see my daughter upset, but I'm okay with it. But I do know one easy fix to always cheer her up. And that's her favorite thing here in the yard and that's good old rope swing. So we're about to get our rope swing on and that's gonna make everything a whole lot better. So let's get this done. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap everything up for today. Um, we didn't get into a whole lot today. Uh, it's kind of been a, an emotional day, if, to say the least. So um, I'm sure you saw the footage. So about the livestock trailer and how well it worked. It actually did work really, really well. And I didn't add any two by fours. Believe it or not, I just used those connectors that I had from Premier One. And the only thing I did was we did, I took a couple little zip ties and just kind of add some stability on spots that, that the coils weren't at, or I wrapped them through the coils, just as like a safety net to make sure the coils didn't somehow undo themselves. And then other than that, we ran a ratchet strap on the back side and a ratchet strap on the front side, just to give us some more stability. And I had to drive about an hour and it worked great. Um, I, I'm actually very, very pleased with it. I still would like to get a livestock trailer down the road, but it did work. Now, you know, here was my plan with my, my daughter. I have told her all along that that we were getting the pigs for meat and I did know there was a possibility you know that she was going to be upset when the time came 
Um, I tell you, she, she was really good all the way up until that point. She would talk about it. I tried to get her. Um, how I explained it to her, truthfully, is that, you know, God has created different animals for different reasons, such as you got some cows that produce milk for dairy, some cows that are beef, um, you know, some chickens that lay eggs, some chickens that are for meat. And I told her that, you know, pigs are the same way. And so I always try to use that to try to explain it to her. And, and so, you know, maybe I didn't do it right. Um, her biggest thing, believe it or not, now that she's talked to me more about it and we've talked about it, is that she, she was mad that I didn't tell her that it was processing time. Um, she knew it was coming, but she was mad that I didn't tell her that I took them. And, you know, a lot of what I wanted to do was to be honest with her. So, you know, maybe you can give me some ideas. Maybe I didn't handle it right. If you would have handled it different, you know, let me know. Um, but at the end of the day, I do feel okay about what we've done. Uh, I feel like it's, it's good for us. It's good for our family and, and that it's going to provide us with, with a lot of good, healthy, you know, I don't know if I call it organic meat because I can't prove that my feed is 100% organic, but I can assure you it is way better than what you get at the grocery stores. Which that, you know, I saw in the news where local grocery store here is going to start limiting the amount of meat you can purchase because of what's going on in the economy. I did not do this at all with the expectations of something like that at a grocery store. But it makes me feel even more comfortable that I will have something for that. And since those animals were here on our property, you know, I will have a much more appreciation and understanding of that meat and that I don't waste it and that we use every bit of it that we can. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Um, I didn't film us loading them. Honestly, I figured that would kind of be a kind of a sad video and I wasn't trying to hit you with that even though it's a reality of raising this kind of stuff. But you gotta understand, if you're gonna end up doing this type of a, a lifestyle, you do gotta prepare that You know, your children are gonna get upset when there's loss on the homestead or when it's processing time. Um, so I told you I would share everything with you when we started doing this journey. Um, and so that's a piece of it. I didn't at all plan to tell her today. She just asked on a whim and it happened. I had actually planned to tell her probably Friday that they were gone. Um, so, you know, that is about as real as it got right there for the most part. So, guys, don't forget, got that giveaway coming up on Saturday. Um, if you haven't done so, just go back to the giveaway video. Um, like that video, comment on it, and, and be a subscriber to be eligible for that. But, you know, hey, it's a short little video here today. Some stuff didn't go the, quite the way that I had planned. And we had to deal with that, which, which is fine. Um, but we got some other big surprises coming your way. So stay tuned with us. Appreciate y'all. Y'all stay safe. And we'll see you here real soon.